Star Wars fans, we're discussing the top five possible cameos in The Bad Batch Season 2. Let's go! I love democracy. An article by The Direct noted the director of Bad Batch Season 2, Brad Rao, saying there will definitely be some cameos this upcoming season. We already know from the Season 2 trailer that Bail Organa, Captain Rex, and Emperor Palpatine himself will all be making an appearance in the show. With that in mind, let's take a look at the top five additional possibilities. Number five, Caleb Doom, or Kanan Jarrus as he's known in Star Wars Rebels. In a very emotional opening episode of Bad Batch Season 1, we see a young Caleb Doom witness the death of his master, Depa Balaba. Hunter and Crosshair chase him through the forest on Kalar, where he eventually force jumps across an abyss and escapes. After re-watching this episode, I think Dave Filoni was deliberate in creating the tension you feel between Caleb and Hunter, almost as if he is teasing the meeting again. I imagine it would happen while Clone Force 99 is on a mission, and they happen to run into Caleb. Hunter sees Caleb and wants to help him, given their brief history on Kalar. Although I'm unsure of the exact time jump between Season 1 and Season 2, Caleb Doom will still be a young Jedi navigating his way through a rapidly changing galaxy. He may come into contact with Clone Force 99, but I don't think he'll befriend them. As a much older Jedi in Rebels, he is still uneasy about clones and has to develop trust with them. And based on Season 1 of The Bad Batch, it seems like Dave Filoni is intentional in connecting the stories of characters from the Clone Wars to the characters in Rebels, so it's very possible we see Caleb again. It would be great to see how his character develops into the mature Jedi Knight, or should I say Master, Kanan Jarrus in Star Wars Rebels. Number 4. Cad Bane. Cad Bane tends to pop up from time to time in different projects. He did appear in Season 1 of The Bad Batch. The Prime Minister of Kamino hired him to capture Omega and bring her back for further testing, research, and ultimately to kill her. Cad Bane captures Omega, but when he lands at an abandoned cloning facility to trade her for his payment, Finnick Shand arrives as well. Finnick was hired by Nala Se to bring back Omega to her, seemingly to protect Omega from death at the hand of the Prime Minister or the Empire. Omega is able to escape from Bane and Finnick, which I think sets things up perfectly for Cad Bane to return, as it seems the Empire may still be interested in researching her on Mount Tantus. Cad Bane has a reputation of being a popular character amongst Star Wars fans, and Dave Filoni loves to use this character in his projects. He returned multiple times in the animated series Star Wars The Clone Wars, and he made a rather shocking cameo in the Book of Boba Fett. Considering where the Bad Batch seems to be taking us, it would not surprise me for Cad Bane to make his appearance in Season 2. Number 3. Boba Fett. Everyone's favorite bounty hunter. Okay, maybe not everyone, but there's no doubt the nostalgia is strong with Boba Fett, and I think it's likely we'll get introduced to him in the Bad Batch Season 2. His name is dropped in Season 1 on a few occasions. One being where Tech is explaining to the rest of Clone Force 99 that Boba Fett was a genetically modified clone like Omega. One could argue that they are close as clone siblings as you can get given their shared characteristics. It's possible the Kaminoans hire additional bounty hunters to track down Omega, as they probably get increasingly frustrated with the lack of progress being made in retrieving the young clone. I also think the Empire could hire some bounty hunters, including Boba Fett, to track down Omega and the rest of Clone Force 99 especially as they continue to be a thorn in the Empire's side. It could be an insightful interaction when Boba realizes Omega is genetically modified just like him, but we will have to wait to see if this actually plays out. Number 2. Ahsoka Tano We know we will be seeing Bail Organa in Season 2, and with the ending of Tales of the Jedi, I think without a doubt we will see Ahsoka Tano in this series. We know Ahsoka will be working with Bail and those forming the beginnings of the Rebellion. Numerous episodes in Season 1 of The Bad Batch teased the beginnings of the Rebellion just days after the Clone Wars ended, and with many fans speculating about the possibility of Omega being Force sensitive, I think it sets up an opportunity for Ahsoka, or any Jedi, to come into contact with Omega and potentially help navigate her use of the Force. And as much as I love live action Ahsoka Tano being played by Rosario Dawson, I know for sure Ashley Eckstein loves voicing the character. To many fans, she is Ahsoka, and while I love Ashley Eckstein voicing Ahsoka as well, I personally don't feel like she would be the best live action Ahsoka. So how does Ashley continue playing her character in animated Star Wars content, leading me further to believe Ahsoka will make her appearance in Bad Batch Season 2? Before we get to number 1, I think it's worth noting a few other possible cameos we may see in Season 2. Here they are. Hera Syndulla, Princess Leia, and yes, even Grogu. But on to our final prediction. 
Number 1. Darth Vader Only a short time after becoming a Sith Lord, he could be called to action. The stakes seem to be high for the Bad Batch in Season 2. The missions they go on may have direct implications on Palpatine's plans. If they consistently pose a threat to the Empire, Vader may be called into action. After a pretty average first season of the Bad Batch, in my opinion, bringing a character like Darth Vader into the second season seems like a good idea. It's been noted by those who have already screened the first 14 episodes that this season is very dark, and Crosshair's story is particularly important. When we last saw Crosshair, he was conflicted. We know he will still be working for the Empire, but I think toward the end of the season we will see him make a big decision to save his friends, with the consequences possibly being death at the hand of Vader himself. We know Vader does not take kindly to those who make mistakes or show weakness, and I think this is the perfect way to redeem the character of Crosshair, a sacrifice. Who do you think we'll see in the Bad Batch Season 2? Do you agree the characters we discussed in this video could make an appearance? Let me know in the comments section below. If you liked this video, please give it a like, subscribe for future content, and turn on the notification bell so you know when a new video releases. And remember, these are the fans you're looking for.